Oh, hello everyone, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 2 of Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And in this episode, we will try to find a second village, so we can get saplings and all that great stuff, including iron to make a cobblestone generator, so I can finally build myself a house. So let's not waste daylight, and just, I'm going to craft a chest just in case, to just put my most, uh important resources into it, the chest just so I don't lose them because there is quite a lot of chance that I will die on my way there. So I'll just put all this stuff in there. Yes, I actually do need dirt. Let's just put these stuff in here. Uh, door, stick, all my cobblestone pressure plate, all of my wood, uh, all my torches. I'm gonna have the stone sword to myself. Um, seeds, wheat, uh, no, actually, I'll actually leave stone shovel. This is all I'm going to go with. I'm going to go light, so I can, in case, in case there's a lot of stuff that I carry back home, I'm gonna go light and just have very few materials and belongings to myself. So, the problem now is to try to get the heck out of here, which I don't know how I'm going to do, because there's a crap ton of, uh, slimes here. I guess I'm just going to have to, uh use another tunnel opening or something yeah that doesn't seem to be working out too well how why yeah this is why super flat survival is a challenge they just killed me in a second well probably in five seconds or so I didn't have time to retaliate what is this it's they're just ping-ponging you one of them hit me and then which flew me which kind of like budged me to the other side and uh, caused me to go to the left side and then the one on the left just hit me so I went on the other side wow this village should really have some golems like really Oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect the villagers by putting dirt around them. So, okay, let me find my house. Is this my house? Uh, nope, that's not my house. My house is... Oh, yes, this is my house. Yeah, it's, it's a library. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, thankfully, I didn't take too much... Or actually, did I? Okay, I have to find where all of my uh, stuff went. Oh, there it is. They somehow all of them despawn as soon... So, it's probably because I spawn there and all of them kind of despawn over time uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect some of the villagers with the most important trades so you go inside here let me just okay you go inside here don't go out of here don't yes this villager is secure now okay I'm going to secure at least two villagers or maybe even more probably the ones that are most easy to secure that those and while there's no slimes here, this is the easiest way to secure them. Yup, this one is secured. Okay, let's secure this one, possibly, maybe. Yes, this one is secured. Yes, my efforts of securing villagers are going very well compared to my other efforts. Uh, let me see, what are the most useful traits? Okay, so this is... Oh, okay, what is, okay, what is this? Oh, yes. Okay, we need farmers. We need some farmers. Okay, we need some farmers, and this looks like a farmer here. Uh, so let me just secure this. Okay, so let me just push him near this wall right here, or somewhere here. So just so I could conserve blocks. Oh, it's stupid. I hate you. Okay. Yes. You are saved now. Okay, I don't know about the slime that's in there. I just, just kill you real quick. Yes, now this villager is safe too. I hope they don't glitch out of there because there is a small chance that they will actually glitch out. Uh, but anyway, what all I know is that I'm now saving the villagers from being killed. Okay, there's a huge slime. Now they're spawning. And of course, they just start running up on me. And daytime is now over. And I was expecting to find a villager this today. Well, while well, daylight is still here, but unfortunately, it's nighttime now. Well,. It's dawn. Well, no, it's not dawn. The sun's setting. Okay, so this is the area where I can go down here. Oh, wait, how... Darn it. This is not good. Well, at least I get some bones. Yeah, I do have a problem with torches because I don't really have much wood now. So, I don't know what I'm going to do during the night time. I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to skip this. Oh, actually, no, I could, I could mine some more... Um, I could mine some more. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I, I, I don't care that it's nighttime. I'm just going to go because 
as at least when I'm running, the mobs can't hurt me well, unless a creeper blows up or uh, there's witches, uh, or, or if there's too much mobs. But I'm still just going to go because I'm tired of waiting. I have to find a village, and I have to do it soon. I have to find a village with a... Uh, with uh, saplings in it because that way I'm never going to be able to get enough wood and enough resources to actually build a house and avoid all these slimes. Um, so like I said before, I'm going to travel light and I'm going to place... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take more... Uh, okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do is... Oh yes, I'm going to build... Um, I'm going to build a furnace real quick, craft a furnace. Let's see how much wood do I have, and I'm going to use these oak wood stairs and pressure plates to uh, to roast some potatoes for food because I'm not in the mood to go out and search for carrots right now. All I want to do is just run away from here as soon as possible, uh, not have to stay here for a while. I'm gonna make a few baked potatoes, and it's a great idea to use these oak wood stairs for uh, for fuel because obviously, well. They're not going to be of any use of uh, any time soon. And if I do need oak wood stairs by that time, I'm going to have to huge wood farm, so I will be able to craft more. So I don't really need these, uh, I don't really need oak wood stairs, so I'm basically using them for fuel. Which is great that I can use them for fuel, because all of these wasted stairs and stuff, and, uh, I don't think about the fence, I think I'm going to need a fence, but most likely I will make a fence out of cobblestone, so I think I might that use that for fuel as well, as soon as that one ends. So I just want to get at least uh, 10 baked potatoes for the road, or probably even more because I'm going to jump a lot and run, which depletes hunger. Okay, so this is at least the last piece, I'm going to put in fence here. I'm pretty sure that fence actually works as fuel. I don't really know how long it lasts, but... I'm sure that the pressure plate, I think pressure plates last very, like, very little. And yeah, this one looks like it doesn't last too long. The longest fuel that lasts is a bucket of, um, the top two fuels that last the longest is a bucket of, uh, of lava and, uh, a block of, um, a block of coal. Those last for a really, really long time. So let me place the pressure plates here just to make sure. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna deplete all of my, uh, pressure plates just so I wouldn't have any lying around. Uh, so let's see how fast. I think the pressure plates go really, really quickly. I'm pretty sure they do. I think they go really quickly. Oh, they, they don't actually go that quick. I was expecting them to go quicker. I'm glad that I decided to place it inside the furnace because I wouldn't have any other uses for it. So let me see. Are there are there a lot of mobs there? Well, I'm going to say there's too much. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in that direction, so... Yeah. Okay, let me see. I think... Okay, I don't I don't think... Yes, I don't think I'm going to have another potato yet. Yeah, it's gonna burn out by that time. Yep. Lost it. Anyway, 13 potatoes is enough. Let me just take all the rest, just in case. Or let's just take half a stack and place them in the chest, just in case. Um, so, anyway. Oh, I'm just gonna eat rotten flesh for a while. Just so I can regen. It's nice that I have a lot of rotten flesh. Rotten flesh is great for eating. So, okay... Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block, then jump real quick. So then every few places I'm going to put a block and then jump. And I just have to keep on jumping to make sure the skeletons don't shoot me and keep on running. I'm going to place more blocks, and I'm just going to go like this until I find a village. And I also set my chunk uh, loading to, like, my view to the maximum amount of chunks loaded, just so I can find villagers even if they're far away. Okay, what's going to be bad is, is if... Oh yeah, there's already a village there. Okay, this is, this is not good. Okay, let me just eat a bit of rotten flesh. To place some more, I I really hope that there's a blacksmith there, and and even more, I really really hope that there's some uh, saplings there because that's going to kickstart our let's play a lot, because that's exactly what I'm searching for. Okay, let me just eat some more rotten flesh. Okay, while there's not so much mobs here, I'm going to eat a bit more rotten flesh. I don't really care about too much re about regenning. I just want to get to the village in time so I can have shelter. It's not too scary, I mean, it's not too dangerous to run outside like this, I mean, the mobs are fairly slow and they 
and I can avoid them pretty well. As long as there's not too many creepers or like witches and stuff. And Endermen are or Endermen are kinda bad too. I hope that Endermen don't actually grab these blocks because Endermen can grab the blocks. Oh, there's just a lighting glitch. Oh, nope. Okay, let's just run away. Okay, I'm just gonna go inside here just so I can see from Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty good That's a pretty good trade. Protection on okay, I'm gonna so I'm going to protection one you. Okay. How am I going to get out? Okay, I'm just gonna go out through a different exit. Wait, or is he gonna be threatened? Oh yeah, this is Oh actually no, this is going to protect him, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or should I go like this? Okay, okay, why why where are you going? Don't don't go so close to the door. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, let's see. Well this villager is not that important. I'm I like the the priest villagers, they're the best. Um I'm not sure why is like okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to um Oh darn, I really should have brought in the pickaxe with me. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to place some uh blocks near near the near the door so that zombies can't get in. So let me just break this real quick. I hope that no zombies actually get inside here or mobs. It is in my interest to protect the villagers. There are many stereotypes that uh, players like to actually kill. That players like to kill, torture, and harass uh, their fellow villagers. However, I think that villagers are very important. And I try to protect my villagers as much as I can. Because I know that villagers can provide me with very, very important resources. Uh, like the chest plate that I probably can get enchanted for a very long time until I get an enchanted table. Uh, so anyway, let me see. Is there a blacksmith here? Oh my god, looks to come out of luck again because there is no blacksmith here. That is unfortunate. I think I'm going to have to push on more. Oh, the, the night is almost ending. Oh, I can see. Oh, that's where my village is. Right there in the distance. So I'm going to eat some more um, rotten flesh. I think I'm going to go that way. Oh, that's a rare mob right there. All of them just spawn in groups. Actually, most of them spawn in groups, so it's quite easy to avoid them. Uh, I wonder if I can get that gold armor from that skeleton there, or zombie. Well, I probably can't get it, because uh, it's actually a quite low chance of actually dropping the armor. And it doesn't seem to be enchanted, so I don't want to go there, and I don't want to get killed. So I think I'm going to go that way, too, farther and farther. Um, okay, why is there XP here? Okay, let me just cover that up just in case. Let me just run further. Okay, let me just double check. There's no... Yeah, there is no blacksmith. That is quite weird. There should be a blacksmith here. I've already gone through two... Or, or, I will, I've already gone through two villages without one blacksmith. Well, that's quite disturbing. Okay, let me just grab this for food because I don't think the food's gonna last forever. And finally, the sunrise. I can push on further. Okay, I only have the like ten dirt, so that is discouraging. Well, hopefully, when all these mobs despawn or burn down, hopefully I can gather more, uh, more dirt. No, no. Okay, there's quite a bit of creepers and zombies there. Okay, let me stop real quick. Okay, just just replenish just a bit of hunger. Well, there's quite a bit of Enderman here. Ouch. Okay, let me push on. Oh, the sunrise is so beautiful. And super flat. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not good. Okay, I'm just going to collect some more dirt, like so. And this will be a geographical marker as well. Of course, I can plot the coordinates of all of the villagers and get maps. However, I don't really have sugar cane right now, and I don't think... I, I actually don't think I'm ever going to have sugarcane in this world, because there's just no way to acquire it. And, of course, oh, I think there's a village there. And, of course, as soon as the sun rises, all these horrible slimes spawn, which sucks as well, because I have to dodge all these mobs practically 24-7. Yep, that is a village. I really, really hope there's a blacksmith there. If there is no blacksmiths, it's quite unlikely that there is no blacksmith, because... Actually, there should be a blacksmith there. We, we, this is already our third village, and if it doesn't have a blacksmith, that means that we are quite unlucky. Well, that looks like quite a big village. For some reason, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but 
for the time being that I'm playing super flat, and I've played quite a bit super flat in my own time, I've never actually seen iron golems spawn naturally. I've only only seen them spawn when I built iron farms. I don't know why that is. Maybe I just haven't encountered large villages enough. But I have been in so many villages, and I haven't actually seen iron golems spawn ever, like, naturally. Which is quite weird, I don't know. Maybe they just randomly spawn, and I just haven't noticed, I guess. But they're quite loud, so... I think I've only seen one iron golem spawn naturally, which is weird. Nope. Oh, yes, and of course I glitched out. Okay. Okay, this is, should be the time when you die. Okay, yeah. Okay, there's no... Oh, wait. Okay, there's a bunch of lighting glitches now here. Yeah, this is... Oh, that's a quite a bit... Of, that's still a big village. Wow. So let me just go up real quick. I should collect the torches from the houses just to have more, uh, have more torches. Okay, what... Why is there... Why is there no blacksmith here? This is just making me so mad. There should be blacksmiths here. Where have all of them gone? Or is there some... Or is there one there? Okay, there's already some zombie villagers there. Which is kind of bad. Uh, let me just collect all I can from the village. I'd collect more of the seeds and wheat. However, there's a bunch of these... um slimes here so well at least I have found these villagers and I can use these villagers for just wood which just naturally spawns here but more importantly I really need the saplings I really was hoping that we would find some kind of uh, I was really hoping that we would find some kind of sapling or some important or some iron or at least or at least just one blacksmith even if we don't find even if we don't find any like uh, even if we don't find even if we don't find what we are looking for, and even if we don't find saplings, I was actually at least hoping that we would at least find a blacksmith. Because it's just ridiculous that we have been going through three villages and none of them are having blacksmiths. Well, I guess our start is quite unlucky. Well, all I can say is that I'm going to go and uh, in pursuit of more villages, I guess. So, let's see. So, uh, let's see, we have gotten from that area, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way farther. So let me just place some more. Okay, is that carrots? Because I do need carrots. Okay. Let's just knock back so I can, uh, I'm going to knock back this. Okay, looks like I've gotten enough carrots, so 25 is fine. Um, so I'm going to push on further and further because I really do need to find a blacksmith and find important things. Okay, okay, I need more. I need more uh, dirt here. And this is basically most of the time that I spend in super flat survival vanilla. The beginning of the game is basically just me searching for villages and stuff. Okay, I'm going to use this shovel until it ends because I want to deplete it and I don't want it to take up my inventory. I hope there's no... Oh, yep, there we go. Um, my shell is pretty quick on dirt. Even though it's stone, it's still really quick. Um, okay, the sun is... Okay, is it midday or no? Oh, oh, it's afternoon already. That's... Yeah, that's that sucks. It's We have been going for a whole night and for a whole day, and we have still not found a blacksmith. Not even talking about iron or, uh, or uh, saplings. Wow, these villages are pretty common here, which is great. I need villages. I think I should really cut down on how often I place these blocks, dirt blocks, for markers. Because they kind of slow me down and, uh, I'm kind of running out of dirt all the time. So, anyway, let me just refill myself real quick. I haven't been able to regen because I've been just running around between houses, blacksmiths, villagers, villages... And trying to avoid all these slimes during the daytime, trying to avoid mobs during the nighttime. Uh, I guess it would be a fair statement to say that it is the the danger of traveling between villages is the same during the daytime as during the nighttime, since there's still a crap ton of mobs. Okay, oh, that's quite good trades here. Finally, oh my God, oh, oh, that's not a bad trade. We should, yes, yes. Finally, finally something good. Okay, please, 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 please. Fingers crossed. Yes, finally on our first chest. 
Yeah, now I'm beginning to think we're actually quite lucky. This is great. Now I can come home and finally start growing trees, start making a house, uh, and start making, basically, start building a house and start making a cobblestone generator. Well, actually, no, I still can't make a cobblestone generator because I do not have... Oh, darn, I still don't have a bucket. Uh, yes, super flat survival does not come easy, but that's the beauty of it. So I'm going to mine out some more uh, dirt, and so I can uh, protect these villagers from more invasion. Okay. Okay, where's the... Okay, I don't like this. What is this? Why are there these lighting glitches? I want to protect, most importantly, the blacksmith, because he has a really great trade for uh, emeralds and uh, swords that I actually need. Um, okay, let's see. Written book for an emerald. Oh, this is a very important trade. We really need this villager. Well, hopefully we're going to set up a whole Im a villager trading center in the future when I get to breed the villagers. And I know so some really great designs to... Uh, I know some really, really great designs of uh, villager breeders. But I would still like to save some of these villagers for future use just because I think they're... A Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Yes, it's a win-win situation. The villagers there got saved and the villagers got saved there too. Oh, I see. The the slimes that can actually hurt me can actually infiltrate into here too. Okay, this is a crappy trade. This is a crappy trade. No, actually, this would be a pretty great trade since uh, apples are pretty rare. I. Uh, okay, yeah, this will be a great trade if I get uh if we get a mob grinder. Okay, so I think I'm, I don't really know what I'm going to do now. I think I should craft. Um, I think I should craft an axe just so I can collect the wood better. But for that, I need. Yeah, exactly. This is why crafting an axe is so difficult, and that's why I need to craft an axe. Okay, let me just run away real quick. So I'm going to have to craft an axe. Um, I think I'm going to craft. Um, since I still have some cobblestone, I'm going to craft a, a, um, a cobblestone axe. Uh, a stone axe. Um, and also, I need to, to an axe so I can collect all these bookcases because we will eventually need bookcases so I can make an enchanting table and stuff. Uh, so, now with my new mic, it is a much better mic. However, this mic. Oh, actually, yeah, the correct pronunciation is to say mi is mic, not mic. It's it just that sometimes we say mic in Russian. So, uh, But that's just a backstory. So, anyway. I actually like to say Mick better than Mike, however, I know that is cor the correct way to say it is actually Mike. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to push on and continue going in that direction. Oh wait, where's that villager that trades redstone? Yes, we need to, we need to conserve him too. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, yes, I, I think we're going to have to run because this, these... No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna tell him to knock back. Okay, yes, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna knock you back. Um, so anyway, so with my new mic, uh, with my new mic, it's actually a much better mic. However, it is kind of difficult to use because it is like an external mic. And before I had a headset mic, well, the previous mic that I used was the mic that is on my headset. So basically. That mic was really crappy, even though it's, it was on a $300 headset. So I bought a $300 wireless headset. I think it's a Steel Series. Uh, a Steel Series. I, I don't remember the brand of it, but it's definitely a Steel Series wireless headset. Yay! There's another village there. I really hope there's a blacksmith. So basically, I bought a very, very expensive Steel Series headset for about 350 bucks. I think it was like around 310 or so, and I got shipping for free. So anyway, so I bought the mic, and I expected it to have a really cool mic so I can make YouTube videos. However, I soon discovered that the mic is actually really, really crappy. Uh, so eventually, I got this uh, Blue Snowball microphone, and this is an external microphone through USB, and it and this has been a very, very great microphone so far. Uh, however, one concern is that the microphone actually needs a filter to filter um it actually needs a filter to filter some sounds because if i don't if i use it without a filter the sounds sometimes sound too rough and it sounds much better when i use like this phone filter on it so i do suggest buying this mic with a phone filter and i wouldn't say it's too expensive but to me it was a bit pricey since i paid 75 bucks for it yes <gasps> two blacksmiths 
Oh my god. Oh, yes. Yes, we got iron. We are so lucky. Yes. At first, I thought our star wasn't pretty lucky, but this is a very lucky start. I really hope we get, could get some more iron here. Jumping from blacksmith to blacksmith. Obsidian. Oh my god. This is exactly what we need. We need obsidian. And I have bread. Oh no. No, no, no. Well, that was a close call. I was like, whoa, who is this? Yeah, anyway, let me just, uh... Also, one thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to go back. I don't want to hold back these villagers too much. Um, so, anyway, like I said, uh, I bought this microphone for 75 bucks. Uh, well, it was actually 60 bucks, but it was 75 plus tax, I think. Oh, I think it was 70 bucks or 75 with tax. But, anyway, so I basically paid $75 for this microphone grand total and it has been a great mic but like I said before the sounds are sometimes too rough and uh, also one concern is that the microphone actually sometimes um, it sometimes blocks out sounds when I start to like uh, make really loud sounds into it when I say like I think when I say ba or pe, it like sometimes blocks the sounds out. Well, I'm currently using a pop filter, so the sound would sound, so the sound resolution would be better. However, I recommend using it with a pop filter just because it, it sounds much better. Um, and one difficulty with using the mic is uh, is I always I always have to calculate the space that I'm holding because right now I'm about two inches away from the microphone and I can't be too close or too far because the sound quality decreases and sometimes when I have to move around I sometimes move my mouth from like I am sometimes move my mouth a bit farther or a bit closer and that just changes the quality of the sound which is not that good since it's since it's a stationary mic and it's not connected to my uh, headset it sometimes it sometimes is a nuisance, so sometimes if my voice is too loud or too quiet, it's probably because I just moved my mouth from the from the mic and just it just stopped recording or just started recording differently. Um, like right now, sometimes when I move around, I think that the quality of my voice decreases, and uh, I also have to make sure that I don't blow into the microphone too much because if I actually do blow into the microphone, what happens is that it kind of kind of stops working and kind of blocks out sounds and the sound becomes a really crappy mic um, and one thing that I would recommend is that if you actually don't if you do not have a pop filter one thing that I recommend is it really sounds crazy but if you do don't have a pop filter and if you don't have any other option I strongly recommend that you basically you take a sock and you put a sock over the microphone and it sounds crazy, but you just, since the blue snowball, it has like a round design, it's basically like a ball. What I just basically did before is I took a sock and I put the sock over the microphone. And just make sure it's a clean sock, just in case. And and the, the fibers in the sock actually, basically like, they filter out bad sounds and like blowing into the microphone. And it just makes the microphone sound so much better. Okay, is this our village or not? Because if this is, I'm going to stop filming because I think I've been filming for quite a while. Okay, let me see. Is this our village or not? Oh, actually, no, we have to go farther. Wow, we've gone really, really far. Yeah, this is quite the way. Actually, I know of this really, really great uh, transportation system in super flat survival in this type of super flat obviously we don't have access to iron or gold until we don't build an iron and gold farm however i do really wish to build an iron and gold farm eventually however as long as we don't have much iron there's actually a very great way to build a transportation system using boats and all it requires is uh, some redstone well it actually can be redstoneless but then it will be automatic then it will be just manual uh, but i can make a manual tra boat transportation system uh, in super flat survival and it will require a lot of digging it will require a lot of um, pressure plates a lot of boats and a lot of uh, a lot of wood so if we do have an industrial wood farm it would be it would make sense to build a boat transportation system and it can zip you from villages to villages in no time uh, but unfortunately obviously since there's a crap ton of slime spawning here and we'll have to like place like a three tall wooden fence and we'll have to place all these uh wooden pressure plates and also the boat transportation system works is that unlike rails you can only go one way so if you want to go 
one way so if you want to go like that way and back you're actually going to have to dig two channels and you're going to have to use twice as much material uh, so if you completely don't have access to iron and you just you just don't have access to iron like you have very little iron and but you have like a lot of wood spare wood lying around this would be a great way to uh build an effective rapid transit system um transporting from one village to another okay where is my house i really hope i'm not gonna die because this is just too much to handle darn okay this is not mine okay okay where where is my house it's a library okay let me see i think it's summer it should be summer here or is it not or is it here that is weird i can hear some villager dying poor villagers God damn it. Oh, what, what is this? No. 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 Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. No. Fuck. What just happened? Ah, uh, uh, why, why did I not have any, why did I not have any dirt in my hot bar, what just happened to me, okay, so on this sad note, I will end this episode, this was mine, Kralix, I have an arrow, I took an arrow to the knee, and I'm out and to search off for our materials. God damn it. I can't even still can't even find my house. Ah, oh, we had so much. We had the iron, we had the saplings. Holy crap, what did Erin go? Oh, this is a new. Oh wow. Let me just check this. And of course, there's not that much stuff here. Damn it. Oh. Am I completely lost? Because if I am lost, then... Oh, this is good. Oh my god. We just refound off the stuff. This is so amazing. This has never happened to me. Um... I have never lost so much items and then found them. So I hope that someday I might be able to find our items. But um, the sunrise is near. I'm going to go up inside this. Uh, I'm going to go up inside this uh, villager tower to look onto the sunlight. As we end episode two, thank you very very much for watching. I will do some uh, off camera work on the area here i'm going to try to find the village where my base of operations is because i did have quite a bit of resources there that i really want to find next time i'll write down all the coordinates of the villagers and here's the beautiful beautiful sunrise which means only one thing death for the zombies so this was mine kralix and i'm out see you all in the next video